You ready? I guess. You ready? Mm-hmm. You don't seem ready. <laughs> Are these all ready right now? I don't know. Are these rolling? I hope they're rolling. <laughs> you, you're the one that should have set them. Welcome to Beer Quest. Uh, it is my turn to choose the beers, and so yeah, let's get to it. All right. Okay, so our first beer is Sunshine Greetings, and I went with a theme for all of our beers. These are all from Florida. Mm -hmm. So this is an ale brewed with orange peel hibiscus. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing. Anything um, weird on the can? And nothing weird on the can. Um, it's it's a perfect complement for a warm, sunny day. And, and it's it, warm and it sunny. Warm and sunny, so we are allowed to drink this. So Sunshine Greetings, uh, Central 28 Beer Company is going everywhere. Um, it is, give me shit for the Corona. It is 4.7% ABV and uh, 10 IBU. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, yeah, it's not hoppy, so that's not... Oh, no, no. I actually, I think Kirk might, maybe might. I don't know. Look, it says brewed with. That doesn't mean it tastes like it. I know you like oranges. So. I like oranges, but I like the color on it. Yeah, it is. Look at it. It's like a peachy. So yeah. So it'll probably be a little fruity, just judging by the color. Yeah, it's kind of. It doesn't. Okay, ready? Let's watch. All right, I, Kirk. I'm not impressed with the smell. So no, it's very beery. So yeah. That tastes like beer. Yeah. Uh, really? It's good. Yeah. That tastes right. like beer. It does, but it tastes like good beer. Yeah. Sure. I, I would I, drink that. You guys are good so, beer on a warm, sunny day. I'd, I'd like to be out on the porch right now and just. I would, yeah. This is a, this is yeah. a, it's. I would bring this to like a barbecue or like a, yeah. something like that. So moving on. Moving on to our next beer, I have Gator Lager. Uh, Gator Lager is from Florida Brewing Company in Auckland,dale oh. Florida. Not a Florida Brewing Company. They make some good beers. Can you buy it at Gatorland? I, I don't know. I've never been to Gatorland. You should be able to. If you can't, that'd be a crime. That's a huge That's missed true. opportunity for both the Florida Brewing Company and Gatorland. Can you buy that at the University of Florida? Ooh. That's also a good I, question. I imagine. Anyway, so, <laughs> Florida Brewing Company in Auburndale, Florida. This is a very Florida-specific episode. It's a very Florida-specific episode. Except not, not, not Hollywood, Not Florida. Hollywood, Florida. We're not going to Hollywood, Florida. Not today. <laughs> Never again. We're just going to piss off the rest of the state today. Florida Brewing Company, 5% ABV and a 30 EBU. So, let's see how this goes. It's a lager, so I already know Kirk's going to hate yeah. it. I think I can smell it already. Yeah, lager is very beery beer, so it's... So this was a bad choice. <laughs> For Kirk. Kirk. Alright. Go ahead, Kirk. That smells like a beer. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> God, no. That's awful. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see. That's why we still do this. Alright, go. Let's try it. Yep. Oh my god. Mm. Nope. Smells like... Nope. It tastes like a lager. Yeah, that's a lager. Oh, no. I don't like that. I mean, I don't hate it, but then again, I grew up in St. Louis, so like, I'm just used to lagers. I just don't like that one. It's still in my mouth. I don't like that that's one. That's what she said. It's also what she said. <laughs> and I, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> my job here is done. Uh, um, no. Nope. This is, I don't like this. Lager is yeah. urine water. Go dump that out. Let's go to the next one. I don't want any more of this. Okay, so for our next beer, I am really excited about this one because I found this. This is from Ocala, Florida. And it's a... Oh, Jesus. This is Infinite Airworks Into the Dark Rose. This is a... Remember last week we talked about a coffee beer? Mm -hmm. Coffee Yeah. Yeah. Um, James and I will probably like this. Kirk is going to I wish this. we had a close-up on that because Ooh, that, was that was a very so satisfying. Nice. Um, I'm just like trying to digitally yeah. zoom that. Yeah. Um. James and I will probably like this. I'm going to 
going to give you a very, very little of this. Here's here's the thing, though. I'm not a big Whoa. coffee person. I'm not a big beer person, but historically, I like the darker beers better. A little bit. They're not as bitter. And that might tie into what I do for the next episode, but... You'll just have to wait. That frothed up a whole lot, though. Look at that. We're going to have to let that head sit down. Do, like, the flop transition till these are. <laughs> that is beautiful. It's not the best pours, but yes, yeah, it, it, it does. <laughs> it cuts off the oxygen. It doesn't help that James just poured it straight into the... Yeah, rather than going down the yeah. side. Yeah. Inspired by explorers who boldly travel into the dark depths of the unknown to expand our understanding of the universe... This imperial coffee stout expands a horizon with incredible depths of roast, malt flavor, rich notes of cocoa, dark fruits. What's a dark fruit? Uh, plums. Yeah, like plums. Plums? Okay. Um, that was a roasted nuts and milled oak. As you enter the darkness, open your mind and see where the unknown takes you. Can, can, can I just can, can I just comment on the fact that it's an imperial stout? They're pretty much celebrating imperialism. Just wanted to throw that yeah, out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's try this. Go ahead, Kirk. Not awful. I'm okay. Not another coffee thing. It it doesn't make me like convulse like the. Bitter longer. Oh, that Gator one, yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan, I'm not going to drink anymore, but that's. Okay. It is probably the best I've had today. Alright, alright. Let's try this. That's like a fucking milkshake. Not the best one I've had, but definitely not the worst. So I can definitely taste the, the coffee flavors heavy on that. Yeah. Oh my god. The gosh. coffee's strong, that's the thing I don't like about it. That is the. Well, it's a coffee. dark roast. Yeah. yeah. That is definitely a dark roast. Yeah, like I've had coffee stouts that are so heavy on the coffee flavor, but it's not like the super bitter part of the coffee flavor. It's the like roasty part of the coffee flavor. Yeah. So it's it, it's bearable for me. I had a coffee stout, a couple of chai coffee stout actually a few weeks back that was like way too much coffee for me. Yeah. And it was so bitter I could barely drink it. Really? Yeah, and I was shocked, but I don't. I didn't even end up finishing it because I thought the chai was the chai and the vanilla and it was going to come out more, but no, the coffee just. There's head even in the bottle. I know. It is. It is. It's, it's a very foamy beer. It's it a heavy beer. It is a heavy beer. Um, it is dark. That may be one of the darkest beers I've ever had. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's a. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. I very much enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. Um, should we do rankings? Yeah. Yep. All right. Come on, right now. Okay. So now we're done to rankings. Um, just want to do it together. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's the same. This yeah, week. Right, I'll count us down. Three, two, one. One, one two, two, three. Oh, oh Kirk was slightly different. Kirk is different. One, two, three. Kirk, okay. Kirk, and, then, and then James yeah. and I were both yeah. one, two, right. three. One, two, three. So you oh, were I'm one that here. One. I'm, I'm one here. I, I'm one you, here. The brothers were on the same. All right. I was one over here. I was yeah. one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I was just down the line. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, there I go. thought they were all going to be the same. Yeah. I didn't. My hands were just all over the place. I didn't know yeah. what, was, yeah. what was happening there. So okay. Uh, <laughs> and Phil's trying to do magic now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, thank you for watching another episode of Beer Quest. We spent fifteen dollars on these beers here, mm -hmm. and we will be donating fifteen dollars to Dig Deep, an organization that is working to provide two million Americans without water with running water. Uh, so if you would like to price match with us, uh, you can. Uh, Donate to diddeep.org, $15. And, uh, yeah, um, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And, uh... What? You, you gotta sit... Talk. Oh, we're sitting there? Get out of my house. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> not even my house. <laughs>